Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, I'll be taking a very basic topic in biology, the characteristics of living things. As you know, we have various characteristics of living things, but we'll start with what do we mean by living things? The, the word is actually comprised of two things, living and things. Living, as we know it, is something having life. And thing, as you know, is an entity or a body. So when any organism or a form of life possesses certain characteristics, we call them living things. So it means that there are characteristics, there are characteristics or features that living things possess that non-living things do not have, or inanimate objects do not have. So this characteristics is what we are going to be looking at today. And some of the characteristics include movement, respiration, we have the sensitivity, have the excretion, reproduction, and so on. We have nutrition. So we're going to be looking at all the features, all the characteristics of living things. Let's start with the first one, movement. Movement is actually the change of position of an entity, an object, or a living organism. For example, this hand is here, and it shifted to this place. The position has been changed. So this is called what? Movement. Living organisms do move, though certain organisms have limited movement, such as plants that move just part of their body in response to stimuli, or animals, which are actually motile, and they move very fast. Even certain sensor animals or non-motile animals actually move uh, due to what? Carry out limited movement due to what? Certain stimuli. So the next characteristics, remember again, movement is what is the change in what position of what? An organism. So the next characteristic is what? Respiration. Respiration as we know it is actually the breakdown of what? Food particles in the body to give rise to what? To produce what? Energy. And this can be done with or without the use of what? Oxygen. So a, bi a biochemical reaction in, that takes place in the body where food molecules or carbohydrates do broken down to release energy either with or without the use of oxygen is called what? Respiration. So that gives rise to the energy that we are talking about usually, is usually present in the body in the chemical form called what? ATP. And ATP means adenosine what? Triphosphate. There are two basic types of respiration. We have the aerobic respiration and anaerobic what? Respiration. A situation whereby the biochemical reaction occurs in the body which utilizes oxygen to break down this food substance is called what? Aerobic what? Respiration. So it makes use of what? Oxygen. You can see that oxygen is used to break down what? Carbohydrate. And you can see the byproduct. The waste product are actually what? Carbophoroside and water. Why energy, which is in the form of ATP, is what um, give, uh, the body is, is giving to the body. This energy can be used for various forms, can be used to produce heat, can be used to produce electrical impulses and various forms of uh, responses. So we have the anaerobic respiration. In this case, food is broken down to give rise to what? Uh, energy without the use of what? Oxygen. You can see that there is no oxygen light in this place. And the waste are actually uh, alcohol, uh, carbophoroside, and what? Yeah, the essential product is what ATP, which is energy. In respiratory process, which I will produce a separate video on, there are various uh, processes involved. We have the glycolysis, have the citric acid cycle, and have the oxidative or phosphorylation. These three separate processes, a separate video we produce for these processes. All right, the next characteristic of living things is actually what sensitivity or irritability. Now, sensitivity. Or what we call irritability is the ability of what an organism to respond to what stimuli. What is stimuli? Stimuli is actually a change in the environment. For example, you move from a cold weather to a hot place. The environment has changed. The stimuli is actually what the hotness. That's the stimuli. Then you produce a response. You put your hand in a particular a fire, for example. That's the new environment is a stimuli. Now this fire as a stimuli elicits a response. You withdraw your hand, it's a response. So, the response of an organism to a stimuli is called what? Irritability. Stimuli is changing the environment, 
environmental condition, your response, or your change in activities is actually regarded as what? The response. So the, there are various kind of what response in living organism. I will have what? The tropism or tropic what response. We have the static movement or taxis. We have what? The nastic what movement. We are aware that there are various kinds of responses or response. So we have tropism. Tropism is movement, uh, directional movement of plant or plant parts or directional movement of organism in response to what a directional what stimulus. Usually, tropism occurs more in plant, right? And if the organism is moving towards the stimuli, it's called what positive what tropism, and if it's moving away from the stimuli, it's called negative what tropism. So we have various kinds of tropism. We have phototropism, gravitropism, sigmotropism, hydro, and as well as chemotropism. Phototropism has to do with what, the directional movement of plant parts, either towards or away from what the directional what, stimuli, or in response to the directional what, stimuli. Gravitropism has to do with the, the directional movement of what plant what part towards the stimuli of what gravity. This one is movement of plant part towards the stimuli of what push. Directional movement of plant part towards the stimuli of what water. That is hydrotropism and chemotropism is directional movement of what plant what part towards the stimuli of what chemicals. So when we talk about phototropism, if the uh, plant is moving plant part or plant is moving towards the stimuli is called what positive what phototropic, and if it's moving away from the light source, it's called what negative what phototropic. I would like you to do the assignment of giving a practical, uh, detailed explanation of what tropism and giving illustration how plant parts actually move either towards or away from tropism. But as you can see, the diagram is already illustrated there, but you can give more explanation to that. Why the movement of what plant part towards gravity is also what illustrated as you can see in the diagram you can see that the root of the plant is moving downward towards what gravity gravity is downward why the shoot definitely will be moving upward away from gravity that means the root is what positive what geotropic why the the shoot or the uh, the shoot is what which is moving upward is what negative what geotropic so the same apply to that we have another response which is called what static what movement or taxis Taxis is usually the movement, the directional movement of what? Animals or organisms towards a directional or stimuli. Usually, animals move their whole body part, right? So, such directional what, movement is called what? Taxis and usually occur in animals. Phototaxis is directional movement of what? Animals in response to what? Light stimuli. Chemotaxis is directional movement of what? Organism in response to what? Stimuli of what? Chemical. Now, if the organism is moving towards the stimuli, it's called what? Positive. And if it's moving away from the stimuli, it's called what? Negative. We are aware that, for example, spermatozoa move towards what? Chemical, as you can see in the diagram. So that is called what? Positive what? Chemo what? Taxis. And if it's moving away from that such chemical, it's called what? Negative what? Chemo taxis. So the same apply to hydrotaxis as well as what? Gravitaxis. So please also do the same assignment for what? Uh, Photoshop is also do the same for what photo or taxis. Explain in details both in diagram as well as in explanation. Illustrating what photo or taxis, either what positive or negative. All right. So the next one we have what the nasty what movement, which is actually a non-directional um, response towards a non-directional what stimuli. All right. This is actually. Um, illustrated. The very simple illustration is the, uh, the one of the plant they call touch me not to touch the leaf of the plant and it flows. It doesn't matter the direction where the stimulus is coming from and the response is not actually um, related to what the direction of the stimulus. So nasty what movement has to do with what no directional what response of organism to what a stimuli that is actually what no, that is not directional or is not the, the response is not actually related to what the direction of the stimuli. All right, we have the various form of what nasty what movement. How do you have the photo nasty movement? Tingbo, you know that Tingbo has always been what touch. Photo has always been what light. 
thermo is temperature hydro is what water all right so please take note of that then we have growth which is the fourth characteristic of living thing growth is actually the increase in cell size or the size of an organism either due to the addition of what cells or increase in the size of the cell or even growth so this is actually growth growth can occur as a result of what multiplication of cells that has increased in number of cells and so occur as a result of what enlargement of cells cell enlargement and in some cases differentiation you no know, after cell enlargement differentiation usually occur in most what, in some specialized tissue in multicellular animals right the next one or the next characteristics of living things that we are going to talk about is what excretion excretion which is actually defined as the removal of metabolic waste excretion is defined as what the removal of what metabolic waste from the body of what living organism which if you leave it there which left in the body or within the body may interfere with the normal function of the body or it can even result it can even hurt the body system so when we talk about metabolic waste metabolism various chemical reactions occur in the body of human being in some reactions we have smaller molecules be due to what form larger molecules such as what glycogenesis or the formation uh, the combination of glucose molecules to form what glycogen so those are what anabolic reactions small uh, molecules being used to build larger molecules where we have what catabolic reaction here we have larger molecules being broken down into small molecules here we have, uh, in case of what respiration all right these anabolic and catabolic reaction in the body of living organisms is called what metabolic what reaction all right both of them is called metabolic reaction so the waste that is generated is called what excretory what waste all right now the main excretory waste product in animal is actually carbon dioxide water now these two carbon and carbon water and nitrogenous waste carbon dioxide and water is the waste product uh, generated during respiration please take note during respiration uh, carbon dioxide and water is what given out as waste why metabolic waste is derived from what protein what breakdown when you metabolize protein uh, protein mat uh, material or, or a protein molecule in the body you get device what uh, nitrogenous waste nitrogenous waste can include ammonia uh, urea can include various form uric acid as we can see in there all right why the main metabolic waste product in plants is actually uh, we have the carbon dioxide which is given out during respiration we have water also which is given out during respiration we have oxygen which is the waste product during photosynthesis but other was metabolic waste or other waste products in plants include gum, resin, cocaine, tupertin, and others. You can see their names on the board. All right. Now, these are the main ways. So the details of excretory system will be explained in subsequent video. That will take a lot of uh, time. All right. Nutrition. Nutrition has to do with what we taking in food or living organism taking in food and utilizing using the food to what grow remain healthy sustain life and even reproduce that is nutrition so you take in food utilize the food to grow remain healthy sustain life even reproduce. it's called the word nutrition we have various type of nutrition we have the word autotrophic mode of nutrition we have heterotrophic mode of nutrition now autotrophic mode of nutrition is the mode of nutrition whereby the organism manufactures their own food and we know that autotrophic mode of nutrition involves photosynthesis as well as chemosynthesis details of this process will be given or will be explained in a separate what video why heterotrophic mode of nutrition is a mode of nutrition whereby living organisms rely on already made food humans we are example plants are example of uh, uh, green plant are all bacteria certain bacteria are example of uh, autotrophic mode of nutrition why human and well as those herbivores carnivores and all that they are example of heterotrophic mode of nutrition as well as some parasites and many numerous organisms not just some parasites all right the last characteristic is actually reproduction which has to do with living organisms producing offspring of their kind living organisms producing offspring of their kind either by a parent or two in a sexual reproduction it can be as a result of what one parent why sexual can be as a result of two parents so we have two types of reproduction anyway have the uh, 
a sexual, uh, asexual uh, method of reproduction or mode of reproduction. We have the sexual mode of reproduction. Details of various uh, reproductive system or reproductive, uh, reproductive processes in various organisms can be produced in subsequent video. Thank you very much. If you know you have any answer, you can always drop that. Or if so you have any question, you can always drop that in the comment section and answer will be provided. Thank you.